Day 46 on the Florida Trail. I'm getting a bit of a late start today because it was raining cats and dogs this morning. Man, but it's supposed to be okay the rest of the day, so I'm braving it. But it's gonna be a very wet trail, I think. <laughs> Every once in a while, you come across a cactus in Florida. I see a pond down there and beautiful trees. I'm in Etnia Creek State Forest. So I'm excited to be in a new section. I'm just loving all these big trees. <laughs> I've just started out on this walk and it's amazing. <laughs> I've got to do a, a lot of underpasses today, looks like. <laughs> we went to church yesterday in Palatka and another church I can recommend. Not only is it good to go and visit a church and worship the Lord, but we love visiting with the members there. The local people can tell you everything about the place. And that's what I love to pick their brains. And then I met a sweet, well, you meet all kinds of sweet people, but there's this 85 year old black lady named Viola and she's from she grew up in georgia and she and her mama and three siblings all were farm laborers she's picked strawberries and peaches and cotton and tobacco and um, what else peanuts and peas and she told about how their daddy left them when she was just learning to walk She's the third child. And so her mama had to raise all these, well, just four kids. And they all worked out in the field. And at the end of the week, her mama would let them go to a picture show. It cost nine cents. That was their reward. And then a bucket of popcorn cost nine cents. So I just love hearing people's stories. I hope you like live oaks as much as I do. Yesterday afternoon after church, we went down to the St. John's River and walked the river there. And it's flat because a pretty historical town. And it's close to St. Augustine too. But I have to hike this trail. I can't, I can't deviate from the trail right now. But I do want to go to St. Augustine someday soon. This is just such a fun tunnel walk. I love this pathway. Good job, people. Continuing on with my hike through the Bible. Jacob got to spend 17 years in Egypt with his sons and his numerous offspring. And then when he knew that his time was coming to an end, he made Joseph promise that he would take his body out of Egypt and be buried in Canaan, in the same cave where his grandfather and grandmother Abraham and Sarah were buried, along with his father and mother Isaac and Rebekah, and his wife Leah was interned there as well. When Joseph heard that his father was sick, he took his two sons there to see him, and their names were Manasseh and Ephraim. Jacob kissed and embraced his grandchildren and exclaimed, I had not thought to see your face, but in fact, God has shown me your offspring. What a turn of events for Jacob's many years of sorrow. 
Then Jacob blessed Manasseh and Ephraim. And even though Manasseh was the firstborn, he laid his right hand on Ephraim, indicating that he would become the greater nation. In the blessing, he said, let my name be named upon them and the name of my fathers, Abraham and Isaac, and let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. This was significant because now Ephraim and Manasseh were to be counted as Jacob's sons, and they were to receive the same blessings as promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In this way, Joseph received a double blessing through his sons. Now this is very important to note. These youths were connected through their mother with the highest order of Egyptian priesthood. And the position of their father opened them to positions of wealth and distinction should they choose to connect with the Egyptians. It was Joseph's desire, however, that they should unite with their own people. Joseph manifested his faith in the covenant promise in behalf of his sons, renouncing all the honors that the court of Egypt offered for a place among the despised shepherd tribes. No matter what, Joseph held on to his roots and his love of God. Even though he had the grandeur and power of Egypt at his fingertips, he did not want that for his sons. Isn't it wise that we too should not let worldly goods and possessions and fame distract us and our children from the promise of God for a heavenly home? Oh man, someday I would love to do the Great Florida Birding Trail. Oh. A little bit of a road walk and now back into the Etna forest. Such fantastic turkey tails. Well, I see a bridge over yonder. Let's see if I can do this. Good. Now this is a brand spanking new bridge. Right on. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, this is great. I had met a group of Boy Scouts back there and poor little gaffers look pretty bedraggled. <laughs> but what an amazing trip for them. They got to go over this. It's pretty windy today though and I hear the trees creaking. Whoa. Just delightful in here. underpass. Oh. Okay. can hear limbs crashing down.
<laughs> Not the most stable thing I've done. There's no way I'm going on the mucky path. Extra bridge parts. That's a nice bench. Shima's Point. This is a lady that maintained this section of the Florida Trail in the 70s and 80s. So that's pretty cool. Now this is the shelter the Boy Scouts told me they stayed at. So let's go see what it's all about, even though it's a bit off my trail. Oh, it's here already. That's good. Oh my, can't go wrong with that. Nice and closed. That's a cool rustic bench. Looks like it's a chicken house. <laughs> it is a chicken house. No. How fun. I can just see all the kids up there, adults down there, whatever. Iron Bridge Shelter, welcome to use our trail shelter. Please follow these simple rules. First come, first serve. Make room for others. No reservations available. Stay only one night. Keep food outside. No eating in the shelter. Clean up. Leave a note. Pretty special. Okay, let's get back on my beloved trail. Beautiful creek. I haven't seen deer moss like this for a while, but I'm delighted to see it again. It just keeps going and going. Some really tall palmettos. Definitely jungle here.
hear how windy it is. Another nice bridge. Very root beer looking water. Yum. What kind of creatures live in there? Can you imagine? That was a 10 mile hike and now I get to bike for a while. It's turned quite blustery out. Woo! And I'm on this sandy road again. So it's kind of tricky. Anyway, about six miles back there, I passed the 600 mile mark. I didn't realize it until now. So I am over, well over halfway done this Florida trail. Thanks for coming along with me. You're so faithful. Now I get to go on the Palatka Lake Buckler State Trail. This is nice. All right, let's boogie. Lots of debris on the trail from that storm last night and today. Here's my turn. Can I manage it with the bike? <laughs> I think so. And I go over that bridge. McKinney's walkway. All right. It's a bit of a tight squeeze. All right, here's my trailhead for tomorrow. I've covered exactly 15 miles today. Very good day. Now I would encourage you to pray for yourself and your children that God will put blinders on you and that you will keep looking up. I'll see you tomorrow.